If you want to know the best crime TV shows, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2021. Have you been in prison before? No. First time for everything, eh? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. So, you got beat up. Actually, I got jumped. It's because I'm the leader of a gang. Sort of the leader. You know, big responsibilities. Yeah. Reservation Dogs is a comedy drama television series created by Sterling Harjo and Taika Watiti. Elevated by the brilliant comedic minds of its showrunners, this blending of absurd humor and serious themes explores the lives of four indigenous teenagers dedicated to fighting crimes and, along the way, committing them. Obsessed with making it to California, they have to steal, scam, take, and save in order to make it to the mysterious and exotic promised country. I love the Native American people. Very sweet, majestic, very special. I'm trying to grow this out. I'm sick of it. I just want to go back from where I'm from. China? No, you shit. Number nine. He's my partner. <laughs> We're not partners. Well, we're friends slash partners. I wouldn't really describe us as friends. Hawkeye is an action crime superhero miniseries created by Jonathan Igla. Finally bringing the charismatic arrow shooter to his own screen, Hawkeye follows agent Clint Barton on a mission to not only save the world, but Christmas, when he is separated from his family over the holiday. Upon meeting a mysterious new young player in the game, he stumbles down a case of crime and gang wars that leads him right to a dangerous enemy. You gotta get that suit. Number eight. Well, then you haven't spoken to him. Oh yeah, I talk to him every day. Mom, what? What? <laughs> she what? Mayor of Kingstown is a crime thriller television series created by Taylor Sheridan and Hugh Dillon. Exploring one of America's greatest issues, the prison system, this raw take on humanity's darkest side comes along with a powerhouse cast and honest storytelling. As the business of incarceration is the only thriving industry, racism and suppression are built strong by prison guards, police, and politicians. And as justice is only a blurred memory, someone must give it back to the people. Kyle has an opportunity to work for the state where it's less likely that his wife becomes one, help him make the right decision. Which is one? Number seven. So they pay more when they have more information. Could you calculate how many uses of Google Earth there have been? Yes. The Billion Dollar Code is a German drama miniseries created by Robert Talheim and Oliver Zeigenbalg. This war against the almighty Google is told in different timelines, which all circle around one issue, a legal dispute between internet giant Google and two German computer pioneers in order to be recognized as the inventor of the Google Earth algorithm. Throughout the show, we witness both the hacker scene in the 90s post-reunification Berlin, as well as the idealistic world of Silicon Valley, who clash in a multi-million dollar process. RGB plus Alpha Kanal. Dann haben wir am Ende einen speziellen Bass eingebaut. Der macht das Ganze fast 100 Mal schneller. Okay. Number six. What is wrong with you? What the fuck? Only Murders in the Building is a mystery comedy television series created by Steve Martin and John Hoffman. With a highly praised comedic approach to crime fiction, this absurd adventurous tale follows three passionate true crime podcast fans. Escaping a dull day-to-day -day routine with stories about violence and death, they are surprised to suddenly find themselves in one. As a murder happens in their apartment complex, they decide to take things into their own hands and investigate with their knowledge. There's a cat in your freezer. Yes, I know that. I think Tim poisoned Evelyn and then killed himself. I'm getting a toxicology report done. Number five. Are you feeling suicidal? Oh. Are you feeling suicidal? Are you contemplating killing yourself? Time is a crime drama television series created by Jimmy McGovern. When it comes to family, one has to decide between morality and love. In this gritty prison journey, we follow Mark Cobden, who is newly imprisoned for a crime that eats him up from the inside. Plagued by guilt, he meets Eric, a guard determined to protect anyone who is under his wing. 
But when the facility's most dangerous criminal finds out about his greatest weakness, it is his duty or family. This is your emergency call button. So called because you use it only in an emergency, right? Yeah. I knew Bob Warren. He was a good man. Number four. Good morning. You must be Drew's grandmother. Yes, Mayor. Nice to finally meet you. Mayor of Easttown is a crime drama miniseries created by Brad Inglesby. Winning over all fans of detective stories with subtle pacing and slow building suspense that reaches a purely climactic finale. Mayor of Easttown follows a burned out and broken mother and detective who's earned herself a reputation in failing at finding a kidnapped child. As a new children murder traumatizes the small town, this might be the last chance to solve a buried crime. We're concerned that these ticks, um, we don't know if it's a genes thing, you know, if it's passed down. My son was like this as a young boy. Number three. Say, man, why don't you just go for all this money? No. I'm the one who made it impossible to access Bank of Malta. Leverage Redemption is an action crime drama television series created by John Rogers and Chris Downey. When the things you're good at become a dangerous profession, it is best to become an anti-hero. The best at doing the worst, a group of vigilantes and crooks with skills in hacking, hitting, and scamming uses their lifestyle to help the poor. On the team of anyone who pays, they help the ordinary man fight back against filthy and almighty corporations. You know the money doesn't matter to him. The art does. He's got famous paintings hanging in galleries in Los Angeles, Chicago, New York. Eight museums all around the country, all with his name on the walls. That's all he talks about. Number two. Are, are you Dexter Morgan? It's me, Harrison. Dexter New Blood is a crime drama mystery television series created by Clyde Phillips. Years after the conclusion of the world's most beloved serial killer series that left fans disappointed, Dexter finally returns for a finale that is worth having unknowingly waited for. A decade after faking his death, Dexter has taken on a new personality as a shop owner in a small town with the chief of police as his girlfriend. But when a series of incidents triggers his serial killer urges, he fears being discovered. This is way more firepower than anything you need hunting around here. Oh, yeah? What do you hunt? Me, I don't anymore. I haven't killed any animals since I was a teenager. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Su móvil sigue apagado, así que por el momento es imposible localizarla. Sí que podríamos chequear sus movimientos de crédito, pero mi contacto en el banco está de vacaciones. De eso me encargo yo. Tú averigua de quién es esta matrícula y quién es este tipo. Pero esto de dónde lo has sacado, no me has dicho que a la policía no le has contado nada. Stop. Decidément, avec vous. On a fait chier, ça en sait rien, tu comprends? Fan constit, fait. Elle en sait rien, tant que le prata me dit, ou à ne se le fixer de. Det är inte så att han bara har glömt bort det. Det kan ju vara så. Jag tror inte det. Jag tror inte han skulle glömma det. Number one. Questions? Yes. Last week I had a doctor tell me he had two patients taking way more pills than he prescribed. Dope Sick is a drama miniseries created by Danny Strong. Leaving audiences in horrifying awe with its approach to telling a real and ugly story, Dope Sick shows how one company set loose the worst wave of drug use and addiction in the history of America. With a powerhouse cast and a truth to be spoken, Dope Sick explores how the epicenter of American culture struggles with opioid addiction and how money, power, and greed led to the health crisis of the century. Uh, Ma'am, if people are living with unnecessary pain and they're being stigmatized when the solution is right in front of them, if people are suffering, they need a higher dose. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.